San Antonio is paying tribute to a woman who helped make much of the city what it is today. Lila Cockrell has passed away today at the age of 97. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Zuko is live from the theater named after her with more on her legacy. Well, this is just one visible example of the impact she made on San Antonio. She also had such a significant influence on parks, the arts, housing and leadership in our city. She paved the way for more equitable and diverse representation, making changes to the council election process. Before she served four terms as mayor, she also served a decade on city council herself. Even after holding office, she devoted her life to making San Antonio a better place. She was the first female elected mayor of a major American city and, and very much because of that became a, a trailblazer, a pioneer, uh, not just for women's leadership, but also for uh, equal representation. She bridged two eras of our city. And the mayor says that he and Cockrell bonded over their love for jazz and for the city of San Antonio. She impacted so many leaders that would come after her, including Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf, who was impacted by her work and carried on many of the projects that she started as mayor. You're going to hear from him coming up at six. Now, the mayor has announced in the past hour that he'd like to see all flags here in San Antonio flown at half staff in her honor. Live from the Lila Cockrell Theater, Eric Zuko, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. Erica, thank you. Support and condolences are pouring in on social media for Cockrell's family. Hundreds of people are remembering the late mayor and her accomplishments. Congressman Joaquin Castro saying Lila Cockrell was a towering beacon in San Antonio, a woman who defined what it is and what it means to devote yourself to the service of others. She is an inspiration to all of us. And Councilman John Courage writes in part, she devoted her life to public service, leaving a wake of opportunity and inspiration in her path. And Deb, you also spent some time with Lila. Well, I did. I started my career in the 70s when she was mayor, and she was such an inspiration to all of us at that time. And she was always so gracious and strong, and I spent time with her on her 97th birthday this year, and she was still going strong. Um, there she is signing her autobiography. And she was part of the greatest generation. She served our country during World War II as part of the waves and the Navy, and then mayor, and then she continued to serve 70 years later. Incredible. In her 90s, leading the Park Foundation. And active, I know in just the, the short year and the time that I've been here, you see her continuing to be in the news and to, to be active and to care about the community and continue to serve. It's, it's just an inspiration for all of us, I think. She, it was an inspiration throughout her life. Absolutely. Yeah.